Hello, in this Dart programming video, I am going to show you how to create custom getters and setters. So, a getter and setter, getter is something that retrieves the value of a variable, and a setter is something well, that sets the value of a variable. So, here we are you know, doing a getter because we're getting that value. Here we are doing a setter, we are setting that value. You might want to do some no extra checks or some extra calculation before setting or even getting the value. As a result, Get and set are really cool for this. So what we can do is we could have a couple of methods. So void, and we use the keyword set to indicate that it is a setter. And then we can say max speed and then open close bracket. It needs a parameter. And this is basically what we're going to be setting our variable to. Again, okay, error is already defined. Okay, so we need to rename this. To rename by putting an underscore in front of it just to you know, distinguish it a bit you'll still technically be able to access it if it's within the same library but what this just prevents us from doing is you know accidentally accessing like this so if we keep underscore at the start only for stuff that we don't want to access easily if that makes sense and then in here we will just do underscore max speed equals speed and now if we want to be able to get the value. You put the date type of the value, space get, then you just set you the same name again, open close bracket. One mistake, there's no open close brackets, made a little mistake there. And we can just do return. So we just do return max speed. And if you look, this will still work the exact same way, which is pretty cool. But what we could do is maybe we want to. I don't know, double the speed every time we set it. So as you see, it is double now after we set it to 89. 89 doubled is 178. What you could do, what's great is you could do some sort of check here. So you could potentially do a check to see if the speed is within a valid range. And the benefit of doing this is because one, you might be getting input from the user. And if you're doing get and setters, you want to make sure it's, you know, the right type of data. Two, you might have multiple developers on your team and you might have created this class. Somebody else might actually be utilizing the class and they might not fully understand the inner workings of it. So to prevent them from accidentally assigning something that they shouldn't be assigning and you know resulting in something else breaking in the application later on, you can use custom get and setters. Nothing more to it than that. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.